So I thought I'd turn the uh, old Roger, camera back on. Remember. We'll uh, wait on the ground for about five minutes just to make sure for you if you're coming over. A lot of crazy talk going on. Like that. <laughs> Welcome aboard. It's a hot, sweaty one today. We are hot and sweaty in the aircraft. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing started up. And uh, we'll get everything, make sure everything's going to run okay before we take off. So here we go. We're going to turn on the booster pump. Pressure's coming up. Make sure full rich. One, two, three, four. And we will clear the prop. Ready? Clear prop. Oh, yes! And it starts right up. And Bob, Bob here, took a spill. This setup. We'll pull the RPMs back. Ooh, the Ice Maker 2000. Feels, feels good. Operation is in about three minutes. Ooh, 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 feels good. Feels <clears throat> good. We're on right tank, which is the right tank we want to be on so we're gonna let to make sure everything's coming up we got good oil temp uh, oil pressure is good so our head temps will come up all right which is keokuk we will make sure. we're gonna fly to keokuk today we're gonna get some fuel over down there and then we are going to fly up the mississippi river that'll be pretty cool to see got the uh, four cameras on board we've got the nose camera that points out the front we've got the um tail camera and today all new the butt camera we got the butt camera butt cameras underneath and it's going to take uh, video of everything underneath the aircraft like a three, so two, one. my hope is that it's going to uh, my hope is that it's going to um, it's going to work okay so uh, but in the meantime we're going to go ahead and taxi to runway one three we're going to first get the weather so we'll turn that on. Iowa. Automated weather observation 2022 two, two, Zulu. Wind 110 at 0 niner. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 26 Celsius. Dew point 11 Celsius. Altimeter 2 niner niner 2. Remarks. Density altitude 2400. All right. Winds are coming out of one, one, one. So we're going to take runway one three today, and uh, take off into the wind, and we're going to fly a direct track of one, three, one. Ames traffic, Mooney eight seven five is taxiing to runway one three from hangars, Ames. All right, two three. Wow, such a good day to be flying today. Uh, clear skies, low winds. Uh, should be good to go all the way to, uh, to Keokuk. We got 136 nautical miles, so it's gonna be kind of a, a long haul trip, but we'll get there, we'll get some fuel, and we'll go up the river. So, we'll do a run up, up here. Joe, I'm just going to come up on your right side here. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, <clears throat> head on out. Everything seems to be working. Cabin vents on. We'll do uh, nav lights, rotating beacon. Don't need to worry about that. And we'll see. Go ahead and take with Bob. 
Bob will be our, our co-pilot today. We're going to put him in the co-pilot seat. And hopefully he'll have a safe flight right there. <coughs> Ames traffic, Booney 875 is taxiing to runway 13 from the ramp. Ames. All right. Everything seems to be working. Everything is free and correct. We will give ourselves two notches. Mixtures up full rich. We're on right tank. We'll make our stop. We'll look for traffic. Well, 122.7. And we will close this. Doors are shut. Everything's latched. Everything's good to go. We will go ahead and take off. Nothing in the pattern. Nothing in the sky. Nothing on the radios. All right. Ames traffic. Uh, Mooney 875 is departing runway 13 to the southeast. Ames. All right. Noise canceling. Whew. About a mile northeast, climb to 2,700. All right, airspeed's coming up, 40. Everything's in the green. 50. 60, and we're feeling a little light, and we'll come off the ground. All right. We'll go flaps up. Here up. And we are going to keep climbing. Whee! So much fun. Let's get up into the sky where the air's a little cooler. What do you say? Shake, shake, shake. Da -da 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 -da. Shake, shake, shake. Shake the camera. Shake the camera. Oh, shake, shake, shake. Da -da 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 -da. Shake, shake, shake. All right, guy in behind me. Ames traffic, Mooney 875 is three miles to the southeast. Um, departing to the southeast. This will be my final call, Ames. Whoa! Ugh. Come on. <laughs> there we are. Woo! I had to lift the gear to get uh, this cord. I uh, gotta pre-think that stuff. There we are. All right, we got batteries charging. We are climbing, climbing, climbing. We're at 3,000 feet already. Super Cup 840 to the right, 138. Oh. Oh. That wasn't good. Ooh, fighting it today. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, we're good. All right. PHTs. Ames traffic, Super Cup 84 Zulu, final 138. We got uh, high CHTs. Well, see if we can't bring down some CHTs here. Cylinder head temperatures are a bit. What in the world is going on with this thing?
There we are. Oh. There we are. All right, CHTs are coming down. Hallelujah for that. Well, keep climbing. Oh, man. So my hope here is that we will get uh, some good fuel economy out of this thing. Because winds aren't too bad. All right, fuel pressure's still good. Climbing. Pretty smooth up here, which is kind of nice. Like to get some speed going though. All right, we are back in the aircraft, flying on, we're level at 5,500 right now, just cruising through this hazy sky, but uh, we are currently 114 nautical miles away. Uh, says we have five zero minutes left on our flight to uh, Keokuk. Once we get there, we're going to go ahead and th throw some fuel in it. Uh, they got some cheaper fuel there. Uh, we're going to go do that, and then... Um, after we get some fuel, we're going to go up the river. Bob, Bob and I are going to hit the head up the river. And what does Bob have to say today? Turn that down. Do, do another one. Let's make some nice little clouds that just float around and, and have fun all day. Put some nice little clouds and float around all day. We're just going to find some clouds and float around all day. That's what Bob's saying. So we're going to put Bob up on the dash since we're in nice, calm, cool air. Um, current temperature up here is just about 40 degrees, which is pretty nice. Seem to be climbing a little bit, so we're going to go ahead and trim her back. Get us back down to 5,500 since we're flying easterly. What a great day to fly. A little hazy out, that's okay. Um, I can still see a long ways. I can actually see Newton out here to the, uh, to the left of me. I hope that that camera on them, my butt camera, <laughs> survived. Um, yeah, I kind of put it up there underneath, and um, my hope is that it's still there when I get there. I think I wrenched it down pretty good and pretty tight, but um, the cameras that I have on the outside of the aircraft uh, don't mean much to me. They were cheap, inexpensive, and not cost too much, which are my, which are my three favorite things. And um, I ended up, uh, so if I lose one or I happen to drop one, uh, from 5,000 feet, uh, I'm not going to miss it. Uh, I imagine it'll be somebody's uh, cool little pleasure to find, a um, little treasure. They'll be able to put that little SD card and find out what's, uh, what aircraft it was from and, and uh, maybe get it back to me. Uh, who knows? But uh, I'm not really too concerned about it. It was cameras that I used to take to Jamaica with me and uh, go scuba diving with. Again, if it uh, water compromised them or the salt water got to them, it ruined them. I'm like, whatever, I don't really care. So, it's all good. It's all good. So, yeah, town of Newton out here to the left. I don't know if you can see that, but, oh boy, boy, that's tough. I got, I got that thing put down pretty good. Oh, there we are. Uh, you can't see it. I, I have to pull everything off. I'm not going to do that. But I will say that my noise canceling just came off not a, not a fan of that, so we're going to have to get some new batteries here. All that time that I spent um, in the aircraft, flying from Florida, having the noise canceling on, ruins the batteries. So, here we go. Whoop. Pop. Got the good old Wally World batteries. Simply de 
done. Simply done batteries. And they are simply done, so we're going to put those away. And we'll put some new batteries in. Oh, yes. Yes. Put some Duracells in. We'll see if those Duracells last a lot longer. We're going to put my batteries in the pouch here in hopes that they can uh, get her done. Here, we're going to show you this. There's Newton Airport down there. And the racetrack. We're currently flying by right next to it. I don't see any aircraft over there. Nothing taking off, nothing flying around. Nothing's painted on my ADS-B either. So, pretty cool. That sucker will be busy in July and August, that racetrack. They got a bunch of private jets that fly into that thing from all the race teams, and it's a pretty, uh, pretty big deal. Pretty big deal for Newton. And we're about ready to lose it over the wing. Bye-bye, racetrack. All right, I just put, just plugged in the uh, the power cable to this thing, and my hope is that um, in doing so it'll keep the battery cooler, but we will find out. And my hope is also that it's not going to provide a lot of distortion uh, in the in the video audio. But we're we're going to test this on the way to to um, on the way to uh, to Keokuk. So hopefully we'll have some pretty good, uh, pretty good audio with this plugged in. Um, that would be awesome because then I don't have to worry about overheating batteries and, and all that kind of stuff and, and losing power. That was one of the things that was happening a lot was uh, was losing power. Um, and I'd come in for landing, I'm like, the, 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 the camera would go bad. And uh, couldn't, uh, couldn't, uh, you know, couldn't get a good landing. So that's kind of the exciting part of the flight, isn't it? Coming in and landing. And uh, couldn't get her done. Get her done. We're still reading uh, 397 for, that's my strongest and hottest temp right now. Um, what kind of gallons per hour am I burning? Oil temp's coming down though, that's pretty nice. 9.0 gallons per hour, which is pretty money. I like that. Got the lake off to the side of us here. That would be Red Rock Lake. Like I said, when we get back to, uh, we get back to, uh, when we get to Keokuk, we'll take off and we'll go to the river We'll cruise down the river. That'll be a cool sight. The Mississippi River, the eastern edge of Iowa. Who'd have thunk you can fly from the middle of Iowa to the eastern edge of Iowa in less than 50 minutes. That's pretty awesome. Took us three hours to drive there two weeks ago. That's a long ways to drive. But we made a pretty good stop. We stopped uh, on the way back. We stopped at uh, the American Gothic House. Yeah, stopped at the American Gothic House on the way back to um, uh, back home. And uh, Miss Didi and I got a picture taken in front of the American Gothic House. If you don't know what the American Gothic House is, uh, look up the portrait of American Gothic. It was actually painted in front of this home. So they got a whole museum and the whole nine yards there. We didn't do the museum, Museum. we just walked out, got a picture, got back in the car, took off, because we really wanted to get home. So, pretty cool though, pretty awesome. So I'm not talking to Des Moines, I'm not talking to anybody, um, only because uh, I'm just gonna fly VFR today and just kinda cruise through the sky. Paying attention to my ADS-B here, making sure that I don't see, see traffic and I'm keeping my eyes open out in the distance. So is Bob. Bob's keeping his eyes open. Make sure that we are flying safely. And Bob says there's nobody out there, right? No, nobody. I can't even do it now. 
no, 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 no. He just, he just says, whoa, whoa, whatever, man, whatever. I think Bob was a stoner in his... People on this video will be like, you think? <laughs> Put a happy little cloud out here. Happy little trees. I tell you what, cow flaps really do increase the temperature on the engine. So when you close them, it came up uh, seven degrees. I opened it, opened the cow flaps. Maybe get some more air running across that engine. Yep, they're coming down. That is amazing. Pretty cool though. Thirty-four minutes out. So, did not to do it all over again. So, we'll swipe the card. New. Now we know what we're doing. November. Enter. Seven, eight, eight, seven, five. Enter. Yes, it is grounded. We want to do Avgas. Enter a gallon amount. We will put 20. Two. Room. And we will put it on our keypad. Here we go. Two zero. Press enter when you're done. Enter. Price per gallon is five forty one. That's pretty awesome. Confirm. Authorizing transaction. Please wait. Turn pump handle on and begin fueling. Sweet. So we come over here and we grab this and we pull. It. And we place that bad boy right in here. And we come over here. And we clear. Clear everything here. There we are. Zeros right there. We'll hit the start button. Oh, don't do that. Um, how about this? Start. There we go. Pump starting. And we'll see if it pumps. And she does. She's pumping. And she's pumping again, 11. We said 20, so 20 is our max. We'll have plenty of fuel. 20 gallons to get back, that'd be awesome. There's actually a sign up top too, a digital one. 16, 17, I wonder if it'll stop at 20. We'll see. Ooh. Yep, it's gonna stop. 96, 97, 98. 29, 20, 108 dollars, 108 dollars, it's okay, 
take every drop I can get for $108. Get every drop. Drop, 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 drop. All right, there we go. Now, let me put this back down. And what we're gonna do, come back over here, and then you hit the retrieval button. That's this button right here. Hit the button. There we go. And then this will come back off. That is your grounding cable. And the grounding cable is good. And we'll put the little grounding clip back where it's supposed to be. And we put right here. And close this back up. Shut that. Come back over here. We'll put the gas cuts back on, and we are done fueling this aircraft. And we have 20 gallons extra. So that makes me happy. You know, we're not going to run out of fuel. That's the important stuff. So that is what it takes to fill, not fill, but kind of put a lot of fuel in the room and do it self serve. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take off runway 08. We're going to head out to um, uh, over the river, and then we're going to turn north. We're going to take some pretty cool, see if we can't get some good video up uh, of the river as we're going over. Should be pretty fun. And, yeah, this thing goes around. Man, this grass is really tall out here. Crazy tall. open, vents are open, everything's open. All right, let's take off. Let's take off and go down the river. River time. Keokuk traffic, Mooney 875 is departing runway 08. Gonna go hit the river and head north. Keokuk. Should see a giant zero eight out here. And there is. Not a zero, but just an eight. Eight, eight, eight. All right, runway. All right, we're pointed down the middle. We're good to go. Everything's good. 40, 50, 60. And we're off. Take the flaps out, and we'll put the gear down. Gear down. There we are. And we'll keep climbing. We're going to slow flight it. All right, so this is the river. And we're just going to take it slow here. Nice and easy. Got a barge. Monroe on. City, by barge 42812, about uh, two miles south of the airport at 2,000 feet. We'll be over flying for a downwind entry into runway, or left hand downwind for runway 9, full stop, Monroe City. And we're just going to fly down the river here. How cool is this? The Mississippi River. Just kind of keeping it slow, doing 100 miles an hour right now, 105, a slow, slow climb.
Got some uh, markers down there. Uh, that little tugboat or something down there too. That's kind of cool. Must bring some barges over here and load them up. It's probably a load spot there. That's pretty awesome. All right, so we are currently flying over Nauvoo, Nauvoo, Illinois. And that uh, big majestic looking white building there, that is the LDS Temple, Nauvoo, Illinois. This uh, grounds here, um, pretty cool. They've got all kinds of cool stuff uh, that you can do. They got a blacksmith shop and all kinds of stuff, old timey stuff. Pretty awesome. But that's the Nauvoo Temple, and if I can get a good view of it here, uh, maybe out the side. Let's try. There it is. So that's the Nauvoo Temple down there, the big white building. And there's a bunch of other churches, but yeah, this is pretty cool to have uh, Nauvoo from the sky. I was just there two weeks ago. This is the town of Nauvoo. Now, Nauvoo was a town that was formed by the LDS Church, and back in the day... Uh, LDS Church was starting up. This town had over 10,000 members of the church, and it rivaled it rivaled the um, rivaled Chicago at the time. And politically, that was very troublesome for the people in Chicago because they wanted to be able to make control and make rules. So they set people down here to kind of harass the people of this church and uh, kind of drive them out. So they drove them out. They ended up burning that temple down. And the Mormons went on a hike. They went out to um, out west, to the Salt Lake Valley. But along the way, they had lots of trials and lots of hardships. They actually sent it, sent, uh, set up a camp in the Omaha area they call that the Winter Quarters. And there's also a temple there, the Winter Quarters Temple. But there's a lot of history in the LDS Church, and it all started right here with this temple. Um, this was the second temple built. The first one was in Kirtland. This one is the second one, but it was burnt down and it was rebuilt. Diamond Star 97 Charlie Foxtrot is uh, about three miles. It was rebuilt um, to exact standards that it was like in uh, when it before it was burnt down. So uh, pretty cool. You can go down there. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. They have uh, Browning um, gunsmith shop. Browning was an LDS member, the guy who had the gun gunsmithing deal. But they teach you how to make bricks and all kinds of cool stuff down there. And uh, it's a fun place to visit. If you ever get a chance to, go down there or visit. Go do the uh, horse, you know, they got a horse and buggy thing that you go around and you get to see. Pretty cool. And then this is the river again, right on the Mississippi River. And over here to the left is Fort Madison. We're going to go over this bridge, and when we get over that bridge, we're going to turn uh, back to go back, head back home. But we'll go past this bridge up here, and you'll see the jail. Fort Madison has the jail down here. And All right, we're still flying down the mighty Mississippi, getting ready to go over the bridge here. Um, pretty awesome. I'm just putzing along, barely doing anything for speed. But it is pretty cool down there. Show you got all the trains and the barges and everything else. Barges and trains. 
This is Fort Madison. They got a big majestic church there with a big steeple. That's pretty cool looking. Drove past that. It is a large, large building. Large sitting there. It's like one sank. There's another one tied up to it. The sank one. Got a boat in the water. That's kind of cool. Yes, yes, I hear you. My plane's beeping at me because it says, hey, you got under 10 inches of manifold pressure and, you're, and you don't have the landing gear down. So it's like a gear horn is what it is. So it's telling me, hey, listen, you need to either up the power or put the landing gear down. So this is uh, this bridge right here. Let me show you that better. That bridge. That uh, has a train going across it currently, but it's also used uh, to um, that cars go past. So cars go on it. What's funny is that they charge you a fee on the way into Illinois, but they don't charge you a fee out of Illinois. <laughs> so uh, I guess Iowa truly is a free state. Um, Illinois is going to charge you to come into their state. Iowa says, no, just come on in. We're going we're gonna to let you in for free. But it's $2 to get over that, uh, take that bridge. So that's a toll. So I don't know if Illinois probably built the bridge, and um, you know, I wonder what they charged the train to do it. Who knows? But uh, right down here, that is the Fort Madison Prison. Right down there. And I believe there's another prison back there. Maybe that's the Fort Madison prison. I thought this was the prison, but maybe this is the old prison. Kind of desolate, like there's not a lot of cars or anything there. I bet the, uh, bet the new prison, that one back in the back there. Yeah, pretty cool. This is the back to the Mississippi. Now, if I were to travel on this thing, this thing would take me all the way up. This river starts in I in Itasca State Park up in Minnesota. Look at those holes. Holy moly. That's not awesome. <laughs> those things are just killer. What it costs to live there. Too rich for me. There's another big majestic home right there. Wow. Pretty awesome. got to do to earn a house like that, but right here on the river. Pretty cool. So we'll get some All right, well that was fun. That was an exciting trip to Keokuk, Iowa. Um, had a pretty decent landing there. Um, pretty jazzed about that. Um, got to fill up the plane. You guys got to see what it takes to fill up a plane, you know, uh, self-serve. So we had a, uh, a lot of Places do self-serve. The airport that I'm currently at uh, does not do self-serve. They do full serve because we always need full service. But uh, but yeah, wasn't bad. Five dollars and forty-one cents a gallon. Twenty gallons, hundred eight dollars. So when they talk about hundred-dollar burgers, what they mean is that it takes literally a hundred dollars to go have a hamburger someplace in an airplane. So, you ever wondered what that was about, what that meant? That's what it means. We're gonna plug a battery in. And, let's see here, here's the battery. Flying hands off right now, because because I'm cool. All right, let's do this. Back up here, and boom. All right, well, it's supposed to be charging. Doesn't show that it's charging there. Maybe if I plug it in, it'll charge.
So I thought I'd turn the uh, old Roger, camera back on. Remember. We'll uh, wait on the ground for about five minutes just to make sure for you some sort of over. A lot of crazy talk going on. <laughs> like that. <laughs> crazy talk going on the radios today. Guys bragging about their landings and how they're the best ones. Grinnell traffic, Skyhawk 739er Yankee Mike, departing the pattern to the west, Grinnell. Getting ready to overfly Newton's airport here. Um, been pretty uneventful. It's a little cool up here. Um, I was sweating earlier, now, it's, now I'm freezing. Now I'm getting cold. Um, Temperature outside the aircraft right now is roughly 40 degrees. Got the air blowing in on me. I have to shut some vents. Man! All right, BC Gums, booster pump, carb, heat, cow flap. gas on fullest tank. Whoa. Undercarriage. Locked and set. Make sure it's full rip pop. So forward. Ames traffic, Mooney 875 is turning right base for runway 13, Ames. All right, we're coming in to land, baby. Ames traffic, Mooney 875 is turning final for runway 13 Ames. Jack Trice right out in front of us. That's pretty cool. Ames traffic, station jet 605, Quebec Sierra. We're about 5 to the southeast, sitting at a 4000. We're going to be joining a left downwind runway 19er. Ames traffic. Yeah, citation, I'll be down soon. Okay, roger that. Are you doing traffic work? Negative, I'm gonna go full stop here. Excellent, thank you, sir. Uh, 605, come back here. Gear down. All right, that was pretty awesome. Did a little wheelie, wheelie action. All right, make our turn here to the, get out of here. Well, make our radio call here, let that citation know that we're off the runways. Ames traffic, Mooney 875 is cleared runway 1 through 1 3, headed back to the hangars. Ames. Easy for me to say. Well, that was fun. Got to go to uh, Keokuk, go up the river, go see uh, Nauvoo. Uh, it was always a good time to be able to fly, especially on nice days. Today was a, a good day, it was a little hazy, but uh, relatively easy. Uh, not a lot of chop, not a lot of uh, goofiness which is pretty awesome. I'm excited to be back home 
Um, I'm going to go get something to eat because I am starving. I haven't had any dinner yet, so I'm going to go eat. But uh, I want to thank you guys for being here. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you like to see uh, more stuff about Central Iowa and the trips I'm going to plan on doing. I do plan on flying this aircraft up to um, uh, Mount Rushmore. I want to go see Mount Rushmore. I've never been there, so I want to go do that. Um, I also am going to have the annual done on it here pretty soon. Uh, we're looking at July, first part of July, to get the annual done on this. So uh, my hope is to get the annual done. It'll be a, a week deal, and boom. Uh, one week deal and get my plane back. So that'll be kind of nice. Uh, we'd like to keep flying, keep going places, keep seeing things. So, of course, we've got uh, Taylor Taylor uh, going to go do some summertime uh, lake, laking it up at her house. That'll be a lot of fun. And uh, got all the guys from CIS out there uh, watching stuff. So, anyway, um, again, thanks a lot for being here. Thanks for being a part of this and, and going along with me. I thoroughly enjoy this stuff. This is a lot of fun for me. Um, this and the editing of videos and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. So thanks again for being with me. And we will see you again over the Friendly Sky Revival. Take care. Peace.